Mahadu Dankwe Kufado has been in the United Kingdom and uh, he's been speaking to a number of uh, uh, party followers in the United Kingdom and foremostly says if he is elected president in 2016 he will take practical steps to root out corruption. We know that uh, it's, it's, a, it's a perception in our country which just won't seem to go away. Uh, one such step according to him will be the creation of an office for a special prosecutor uh, who will be independent of executive control in order to prosecute corrupt government officials. And I remember in the clip uh, that was played on TV, he said, if you know that you want to make money, uh, then you don't belong to his government, so to speak. I, I want to start with you, Fred, on the subject, especially because he's your flag bearer. Yes, yes, yes. And then um, this president in waiting, um, he got it right. I mean, special prosecutor is the only way to go. It looks like in Ghana, corruption at the highest level uh, involves government officials. They have what it takes to sign the contracts and help people flee this country. So if we have a, a special prosecutor who is independent of the executive, then there will be no party affiliations and, 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 and scratching my back and, and, and me scratching your back. So I think Nana got it right. This has been raging for some time. I remember we had a... Um, um, a demonstration with uh, PPP some time ago, and this is this was one of one of them. I joined PPP to have a demonstration, and this was one of the things we're asking for special prosecutor. And I think Nana got it right at this time. Um, and very importantly, Nana said that if you think you are looking for money, I'm a businessman. If you think you are looking for money, go do business. If you if your your motivation to join his government after 2017 is to make money, then stay away because he's not going to shove you, he's not going to cover you. This country has had too much, and for the past five years or so, the amount of money that had gone out of the system through corrupt deals, um, dubious uh, 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 judgment debt payments, all these things, it's, it's a, so much of a stress to the economy of this country. So we are not doing well, not because we don't have the resources, not because we don't have money, but because the monies are not being put where it should be. We, 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 we charade people who think they want chalk, and yet we are able to spend so much money. Due diligence is al almost always nil, and monies are just going down the drain. I think that we should all, and all presidential candidates should, should promise or commit themselves to ensuring that this country's the fight against corruption is not left to the government because uh, the, the the coupling of the um, the Minister of Justice and Attorney General would would have helped the situation so that Attorney General would be independent of the Minister of Justice that would make it more but now you have the same person who is prosecuting criminal offenses and for crime it's only the the executive that can that can cause crime to be prosecuted. So if they think that they are going to have their members um, um, found guilty or culpable, it would also help to um, somehow uh, defeat the, the, the interests of the party, especially when it comes to electoral fortune. So let's go along this way. And I think um, we should all applaud Nana Kufuado for making such bold statement. One, special prosecutor, and two, making sure that um, corruption is weeded out of this country. Thank mm. you. Mm. The subject of corruption is something that has always uh, bugged us as a country uh, for decades. Um, Nanado's innovation is not going to be new. Well, We've had the, even the creation of offices, so to speak, decks uh, by the former president in his office to make sure that some of these things are weeded out. We have various anti-corruption groups, uh, quasi-judicial bodies that we have. And so we have already the institutions to make sure we find. Precisely, Roland. Let me say good morning to you, your team, and your listeners. Yes, you nailed it on the head. It is not an independent prosecutor or new institutions that we need. We have institutions. We just need to make sure these institutions work. And yes, I welcome uh, uh, the, 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 the debate, uh, and the, the MPP flag bearer can certainly propose uh, an, a way forward. Uh, but I don't think that the MPP government and Anakufado has any lessons to teach this government or indeed to teach Ghanaians because they, they, they were there. They were in government. And what did they do when Mukta Bamba was, uh, uh, was they promised us a, Bamba, uh, a report at the Bamba Gate? What have they done? 
Have anybody seen a report following Mukta Bamba's, uh, uh, what his activities at the office, office of the president? And was Nana Akufado not there in that government? And so Ghanaians are tired of the continuous uh, ping pong politics of the MPP and NDC on this issue. When we all know that we have moved from rampant corruption to arrogant corruption. The corruption now is laced with arrogance. So it's not uh, 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 um, more institutions that we need. We need people who are going to be dedicated. When they say they're going to do something, they're going to do it. We all know that Mukta Bamba is still within the MPP. We know that he ended up in the campaign team. And so what are we talking about? Let's show example. Let's not keep fooling Ghanaians with making fancy promises about what we're going to do. Let's see action. Of course, I welcome his uh, comment that public service should only be exactly that, public service. If you come into public service, you know you're coming into public service. So I welcome that element of what he has to say. But I don't think that uh, uh, we haven't seen uh, 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 action backed up with such words before. They make such promises. They come into government, and the same old corruption comes. We've seen rampant corruption move into arrogant corruption. We're seeing impunity continuing. And uh, that happened under MPP. It happened under NDC. It's escalating under NDC. And the bottom line is that these two parties need to go. We need a new future in this country. I welcome uh, another aspect, which is to is when he talked about the voters' register. Mm. We know exactly what uh, happened leading up to 2012. When the Electoral Commission itself told us that the voter register was possibly bloated by a million, maybe a million and a half, two million. So going into the 2012 election, we knew that that voter register, which was about 12 billion, needed to perhaps come down to 10 or 11 million. And with our population increasing by about 600,000 every year, we expected the 2012 voter register to be somewhere at 13 million, certainly not the 14 point something million that we ended up getting. So that tells us, we in the CPP told us that 14 million, the register is not, has not been cleansed. Biometric registration has not cleansed the, the system. And so I welcome his call, uh, you know, which supports our own call, that the voter register needs to change. It needs to be reviewed, and that should be the challenge for the new EC, uh, the, the commissioner, to deal with it. Once and for all, let's start afresh. Let's get a proper register, because we know that it's still bloated. Biometric registration has not dealt with it. So I welcome that aspect of what mm. Nana Kufado is also calling for. But on corruption, they have no lesson to teach us. It is not about independent prosecution that we need. It's about having good, dedicated So for honesty. you, it's just a, a merry-go-round affair? It's a merry-go-round. It's but just the talk. The talk. We, 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 let them sack Mukta Bamba from the MPP. Then we'll know that they are serious. Uh, but, but as far as we're concerned, we know that even the last week, the CPP came out with a statement, and uh, its chairperson, Samia uh, Yaban Kruma, was very emphatic. Now, we need a new uh, voters' register. Uh, consistently as political parties, when you don't have the consensus of all the parties saying that a voter register needs to be compiled, then it, it doesn't really make a case for us having a new register. Um, well, depending on what the interest of the political party and then um, how it thinks it's going to benefit or not benefit if we have a new register. But for me, um, like my brother said, if, if the electoral commissioner himself, Dr. Afrejan then, had said that he thinks the voters register is bloated by over one million um, 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 registered voters, then it beggars believe that any political party would kick against having a new voters register for whatever the reasons. If, if it's about finance, we should look for it. We should ask our development partners to join us to, 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 to bring up um, a new voters register. Without it, this election is going to create so much tension in this country and it's, it's not worth it. We know you have minors in the register, we have pictures of it. The electoral commissioner says you cannot stop anybody whose name or whose pictures have been captured in the register. So even though we know a crime is being committed, you cannot yeah, register yeah, and vote when you are not a Ghanaian. You cannot register and vote when you are not 18 years and above. We see this clearly defined in, the, in our constitution. Yet we see people committing such a crime and we look on because our hands are tight. If others decide to take the law into their own hands, what is going to happen to this country? Mayhem. So, yeah, the call is important. Let's have a new voters mm. register. And I'm, I'm happy CPP is joining us um, to fight for a new register. Samia said yes. Samia Nkrumah said yes, we should have a new register. 
um, Pass Quisindum, Dr. Pass Quisindum, um, PPP is calling for a new register. MPP is calling for a new register. So I think the consensus is building up, and uh, we need to continue. We don't okay. have to just talk about it and mm. leave it now. What well, we have on the on the line, Professor Emil Short, is a, a former commissioner for the uh, Commission sure. for Human Rights and Administrative Justice, Shraj, and uh, particularly on Nanado Dankwa Ekufuado's um, uh, mention of uh, if he is, he is elected, uh, appointing a special prosecutor. Uh, in many countries, Obunsmen uh, have always been there trying to oversee whatever activities of corruption and, and perceived corruption among uh, those political appointed officials. Uh, is that the way to go? Don't we already have bodies or quasi-judicial bodies that will be undertaking the work of anti-corruption? Um. You want me to respond to yes, yes, please. Anna Kufuado's suggestion? Mm, mm. Well, it has always been my position. It's, this is a long-standing position which I have taken. And I took this position before the Constitutional Review Commission that the triple mandate of Shraj, in other words, acting as um, a human rights commission, an ombudsman institution, and an anti-corruption agency, is too broad. And therefore, um, I have always recommended that the anti-corruption mandate of Shraj should be hived off from the commission and a separate anti-corruption commission established. Indeed, recently when we had an IEA conference on corruption, I repeated this uh, recommendation. And so many countries have an anti-corruption commission, an independent anti-corruption commission, that focuses uh, on corruption and has various departments like a prevention department, an investigation department, you know, a public education department. And that is the best way to go. Uh, even small countries like Sierra Leone have an independent anti-corruption commission. Uh, I have dealt, uh, you know, extensively on this matter, especially recently when the IEA had a conference on corruption, anti-corruption. Mm. Now, now, particularly for countries that have um, such what, notable personalities or offices, so to speak, to check corruption, they also tend to have um, the political authority also having the will and the zeal to deal with corruption as well. That also dovetails into making sure that the regulations of the country works. Um, in our case, uh, where do we need to do the strengthening? Is it only by political appointment and the commitment, so to speak, by a, a, a particular section of the political class, so to speak? No, you see, um, if Shraj concentrates on human rights mm -hmm. and administrative justice, which is the ombudsman function, the Anti-Corruption Commission would focus on, you know, dealing with corruption on a nationwide scale, which is quite a tall order. Now, what is important is to ensure that the person who is heading the institution is truly independent. And therefore, the procedure for appointment of such an individual has to be transparent and involve participation of civil society. You don't, have, you don't want a situation where such a person is going to be appointed by the president in consultation with the Council of State. This, this, this executive control and influence over such appointments doesn't positively contribute to good governance. So even Anna Kufuado is suggesting this, the establishment of an independent anti-corruption commission. I believe he also added that the appointment of who are the, the headship or the leadership of this institution will be done not by himself, but by, you know, um, maybe a committee uh -huh. composing of representatives of a, a recognized independent civil society organizations who would make recommendations to the president, you know, uh, for appointment of the leadership of this, uh, this new establishment. What is important is, you know, such a person should be truly independent, not subject to the uh, control or influence of the executive, because um, one of the problems we have now is because the Attorney General is also a Minister for Justice and mm. a member of the government. Mm. When it comes to prosecuting economic crimes like corruption, 
he or she is in a very difficult position if the persons involved belong to the, the sitting government. And mm. so the political considerations come into exercise of this prosecutorial uh, discretion. And so that is the, 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 the compelling need to separate the office of the Attorney General from, you know, the, the uh, Minister for Justice. Of course, some have suggested that it can be done administratively within the Attorney General's office. But even though that is possible, you are still confronted with the problem of ensuring the independence of whoever is going to be dealing with anti-corruption. You know. So if, if you have, for example, a director of public prosecution within the Attorney General's office, who would deal with prosecution of crime exclusively, the question as to how that person is appointed is the critical issue. Mm. Okay. Uh, um, it, it, since 1993, we've seen efforts be made one way or the other to make sure that, well, such institutions, that, for example, the one you've headed, we've had the establishment of now uh, a composite agency like Yoko and all that. All these efforts be made in spontaneity but also in fragments at the same time. At what point do we think that we need to have a buy-in of the citizenry so that with all these efforts that are expected to be recommended, they don't become just, um, they don't receive some level of animosity or not a buy-in from the citizen and non-believability, uh, so to speak, from the citizenry? Well, if you look at the NACAP, that is the National Anti-Corruption Plan, the 10-year um, anti-corruption plan that has been developed, um, which, you know, the president inaugurated uh, last year and should be implemented. If it's implemented, one of the cornerstones of the plan is public education, you know, massive public education, for the citizenry to be aware of the cost and the evil effects of corruption. And so you need to um, generate public support and confidence in the fight against corruption. Without that, you know, the fight would not be effective. So, and the way to do this is to, as you can see, if you look at the National Anti-Corruption Plan, that there are a number of activities which are geared towards sensitizing the citizenry about the effects of uh, corruption, the, 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 the way it hinders national development, the way that resources that are needed for um, projects, social projects, infrastructure development are all being diverted into you know, private pockets and therefore economic and social rights are being denied. So when the, the citizenry become aware of the enormous cost of corruption mm. and how much you know we are losing and how much those resources can be used to provide essential services health and education services infrastructure development then the citizens will also give their total support you know to the fight against corruption and there are quite a number of activities which have been listed out in the national anti-corruption plan geared towards you know, getting the citizen buy-in for the fight against corruption. Mm. So you say, all in all, a good call by Danado Danque Kufado? Well, definitely a good call, mm. but it's not a new call. It's something that, um, <laughs> well. it's, it's something that um, mm. I, I have I advocated quite some time ago. And um, constitutional experts like the Kwesi Prempe has also um, made the same call that the the, um, the anti-corruption mandate of Shraj should be hived off from Shraj and then an independent anti-corruption commission established, you know. All right. Well, thank you very much, Professor Emil Short, um, former commissioner for the Commission for Human Rights and Administrative Justice, Shraj, speaking to us on a stake observation about Nanado Dankwe Kufado's also intention to establish a special ombudsman to take care of corruption.
And, um, well, I, I would again try to paraphrase him in that very video and the voice insets that were played across the media. That he says that if you know you want to make money, his government is not one of those institutions for which it will be good for you to make money. We'll see how that goes as far as that is concerned. That is, if he becomes president and forms his own government. Uh, all in all, getting that very clear, because it's not the first time, though. But at least coming from somebody who intends to occupy the executive position of, uh, of government, at least we know that the co commitment will be there because then he's making that very um, bold statement to the citizenry. Thank you, and, and I'm so refreshed um, that... Uh, refreshed about what? About Commissioner Short's... Um, endorsement. Endorsement, <laughs> and then uh, uh, maybe acquiescence or something. Right. He is, is, he's been in the, in the helm of corrupt activities and trying to help corruption in this country for so long. Um, as a member of the Progressive Nationalist Forum, we've had calls to take petitions to him. But you, you, you can see that his, his hands or what he really wants to do cannot be done because of the law that establishes the shrug itself. Um, this is not the first time. I, I told you earlier in my, in my earlier submission that I had joined PPP to demonstrate for some of the issues concluding, including uh, uh, um, um, having a separate independent prosecutor. Maybe P uh, CPP would have to change its position and well, also come well, on board. I, I, it's, I have it's, my it's important. I'll, I'll, I'll explain it. In it's, a it's, it's important. Yes, state institutions must work. Not necessarily bringing new institutions would would solve all the problems, but at least there must be one cardinal point. One cardinal point that is to ensure that the appointing authority is not the executive, and to ensure that the res resourcing of any such institution will not also be at the behest of the ins of, of the executive. Well, if these two cardinal points can be taken away. And a, a way is found about one how to appoint that independent prosecutor and then how to resource that department, then we can have a way to go. Nana Kufuado's call must be supported. It is not a novelty. It is not the first time any prominent citizen of this country has spoken about the need to have an independent body to, uh, to ensure that corruption is. is, 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 is mm, your conclusive well, uh, remarks on this very clearly, subject. I think uh, Emil Short touched on all the issues plaguing anti corruption in this country. The key being one of prosecution, because we have agencies who can uh, uh, <laughs> identify who is corrupt at the president's office, as they did, for example, under uh, the MPP government, or that we're seeing under the NDC government. The key is prosecution. So if you have an independent prosecutor, or you have uh, perhaps Shrag continue in their role, do you give them powers to be able to prosecute independently? How do you then give them funding to be able to ensure that they can continue to do the job as they're doing? So key. And uh, Fred has also touched on it. You need to ensure independence of prosecution. And you need to ensure, perhaps, independence in a way as you fund those sort of agencies. So whether you go for an independent prosecutor or you maintain Shrag or any other body, independent prosecution is the key. Well, it's all about commitment. And so whether you're going to give resources uh, to the various agencies, so to speak, you're talking about, and giving them the needed backing, again, commitment, especially when acts of graft, etc., um, involve key people in your party that has formed government, what do you do? Those, indeed, are the testing periods for all leaders who occupy the executive positions, and we've yes, seen it since 1993. Little has been done in those regards. So we'll see how that goes.